Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. In couple of my recent videos, I've shown you series of Karen neighbors from hell. Here is another one. Take a look. Yes, yeah, so. go there. You know, I, am, I don't care to do. Go do your work. No, I'm not I have you. to come out here and sweep now. I gotta move <laughs> you, my. You can I do whatever have to you move want. My basketball hoops and move. You can do whatever move. you want. I'm moving my basketball hoops. Oh, right I got hand. work to do. You're in the way. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go to work by bus? And Why don't three you cars shut behind? your mouth? Make me. No. Make me. Yeah, hit me. Give me like you did the last time with the face, with the cones. Come on. I have it all. Okay. It's a I'm going to sue you. you. You keep saying that, but you haven't done anything. It's going to happen. Yeah, oh, yeah that's funny because every it's time you say that. Right now. That's all right. right. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm documenting everything. You, you can document. You don't really care. They're over there. Go sit over there. No, because the ball comes over here. Work. The ball comes over here. You steal it. Remember? We had that, we had that no. problem already. Nah. Nah. No. Nah. Not happening. I don't steal no balls. Uh, not, not happening. In front of my house. Go to 37 uh, Westbury Avenue. I don't live at 37 Westbury yeah. Avenue. Don't matter. Whatever. You I don't live at 31 either. 30. Well, I have it. I have it. Good for you. I don't care. You think I'm going to care? care? You're going to be summoned. Good. You're going to be coming. Good. And I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You don't belong in front of my house. You don't belong in front of my house. Could you run her over? Yeah, run her out. Go ahead, say it again. Run me over. That's what you wish me said so many times. Got you right on tape now, baby. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good for you. Go with your children, grandchildren. At least you I have grandchildren. I got work. You see, I'm working out here. Get away from me. Drive me insane. You Such don't insane. belong in front of my house. You're a harassing, harassing bully. Do you know that you don't own the street? Do you know I'm working here? Do you know you don't own the street? Do you know I? Do you know you don't own the street? Do you know you? Do you know you don't own the street? Do you know you don't own the street? Do you know you don't own the street? You live in Plainview. What's that got to do with anything? You don't live in front of my house. I can live anywhere I want. No, you can't. Oh my gosh. I got work to do, and you got to move. Make me. Get out of here. Make me. Get out of here. Make me. No, they won't. Yes, they will. No, they won't. Yes, they will. No, they won't. Yes. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Public property. You are very, very, I don't know where you were brought up, but your mother did a bad job. And you're training your daughter just like that. Like you do to your like mother? You're a bully. Like my you did to your mother? mother? You don't know. Oh, my yeah. And like you, you did to your mother? My mother loved me. And like me. you I owe that lady money over there? I owe nobody nothing. I'm yeah. a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Oh, my God. <laughs> A millionaire. Do you hear You're that? You're not. You got a little piece of junk of a house. In she's a millionaire. Do you hear that? Yes, I am. A she's millionaire. a millionaire, but she has to have reduced taxes because she's a millionaire. She has it's to get food stamps your... because she has a millionaire. So you've been checking out my finances. I know everything about you. You checking out? I'm... Where's your You're checking out? What happened to Clark? He's coming. Oh. He's coming. He's on his way. How come he hasn't moved in? He's on his way. How come he hasn't married it's you yet? It's not your business yet. Oh. It's none of your business. Because there's no wedding. There there's no fiance. No... No, there's yes, nothing. There there is. Oh my Where? God! Wait, Where? Where'd you book your wedding? I want to make sure I go. It's not. You're not going. I wouldn't have a fat slob like you come to my wedding. That's okay. I find it's out where it is anyway. Fat number. You Whoa, Karen was shocked when her neighbor mentioned her taxes, and the fact that when her neighbor asked her where her wedding was going to be, she was like, "You're not coming." The fact that she believed that her neighbor was going to come to her wedding was hilarious. A few moments later. Yeah. Come on, you know, it's not going to happen, baby. Oh, what's, what's not going to happen? What are you threatening? What are you threatening? Stop me? threatening. Get away. Get your flowers off. I'm getting water. You're wasting water, so I'm using it for a good purpose. Go turn There's your nothing... water on. Why? What are... You're wasting right water. No. This is environmental issues. You're wasting you water. It's none of your problem. It is, actually. I live in this world. I care about it. Good. Go, go get your dog taken care of. What does that mean? That's right. Turn your back and go inside. 
Turn your back and go inside. Go. Go inside. Go run away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not bullying you. I'm watering my plants. I'm watering my plants. See, watering my plants. Wasted water every day, so I'm watering my plants. I have every right to stand right here as long as I want. I'm protecting my children. My son is coming off the bus very soon. Dang, Karen has two phones. And the fact that she's able to get away with all of this blows my mind. 20 minutes later. With the lawsuit? And she's harassing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your life. But the cops come every day and they won't do anything because I have done nothing wrong. Oh, the cops don't mean anything. Don't mean anything. Oh, okay. So yes. In order to get somebody arrested, so you have to go through the cops. Get away from my home. I'm calling the cops right now. Do it. Like, call them. Harassing me. Call them. I would love to see them. Call them. Okay. Call them. Yep. Get away. I'm not doing anything. Get away from me. You're harassing me by putting the sprinkler on me. I'm not to over by you. Oh yeah. Okay. Call them, please. Good. I can't wait to talk to them when they get here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that just shows the level of insanity. Yeah, you're insane. Yeah, okay. You're insane. Uh -huh. You're so smart. Yeah. You think you're smart, but you're not. Okay. You're an idiot. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Prove it to me. You're when? When you shit your pants. Yeah, when I shit my pants. Is that what you do at your age? I'm sorry. You should get you're diapers. Harassing me. She's harassing me. <laughs> Tell her. Yeah. No, I'm just videoing someone who no, continues I'm to video me. Has a camera in front of me front every of my day, and, and my children. Pictures she takes pictures of children. Is that appropriate? Pictures of little children. She yells at my child. It's on file. There's a police report. Yeah. This Karen has two phones and a driveway lake. Now this is wild. The next day. Why don't you just get your kids over that way? You don't have to walk all over here. <laughs> That'll be the day. You do realize that you're on your own camera? Do you realize you're on your own camera? <laughs> Nobody's in your face. That's the problem. It blows my mind that this neighbor strongly believes that the sidewalk is her personal property. And that is the main reason why she's behaving the way she is behaving. This is crazy. In this next clip, the lady behind the camera's car hits the bumper of this guy's car. He insisted that she provides him with her insurance. But guess what? She said no. Instead, she wanted them to call the cops in order to get a report. Is she wrong for this? Take a look. Call the police if you want um, to take my insurance. I said, call the police. You don't want oh, to call the Lord, police. Lady. I said, call okay, the police. Yes, we're going to call the police. Thank you for making this harder than it needs yeah, to be. It, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't damage your car. Uh, Ma'am. Your car is not damaged, sir. Okay, this okay well, you're asking me to call the police. Yeah, yeah, but why are you asking for my insurance if your car isn't damaged? Okay. You know. No, I don't know because you're not making much sense with this. this. There's no damage on the vehicle. It has nothing to do with damage. So, so why do you want my insurance if the if the car isn't damaged? Okay, if you're gonna film me, then we're gonna both do this. I don't know where you learned this, because you seem like you're an adult. 
I am an adult. I am acting no, like no, an no, adult, no. sir. You're not handling this like an adult. I am handling. The car isn't damaged. I don't know what. If you want my insurance, why not do it the the right way? Because the car isn't I'm sorry, damaged. What is the right way? Call the police and and then no, no, I no, the police will the have my insurance. insurance. I I don't know it to do that way. I don't know it that way. I normally know what I know is if you hit someone and they want your insurance, it's best to do it through the authorities. That's what I know. You know what? They're going to come here and they're going to make this a lot harder. Mm -hmm. They're going to say no one's injured, so we're not going to bother. You can exchange your insurance and then you can head on but your way. But why would you want my insurance, insurance if there's no damage? Because I need to take it to a shop now and what find shop? out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Call the police and we'll do it that way. If that's what you would like to do. Yeah, I pref I'm more comfortable with that way. Wonderful. Thank you. I like that you're making this harder for me because you hit my vehicle. Oh. Come on, man. Why don't you just call the cops? Or am I the only one that is thinking that he's probably trying to screw her over? Okay. And I'm and yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I bumped into your vehicle. I'm sorry, but I'm there's and there's no damage. Insurance because I don't know what damage is done internally. Well, let's just do it the right way, Dan. Let's just get a police report. You don't need to bring the police into this, but I will if that's what makes you happy. It's not what makes me happy. It's what no, makes no, no, me. No, no, no. It's, it's what makes me feel comfortable. Because okay. you're asking for my insurance. Let's just do a police report you and do get it my that way. As well, we exchange. You have my insurance. I have yours. Let's just do it the right way, sir. That's all I'm asking. Let's just do protocol. Oh my lord, ma'am, you've never been in an accident, have you? I've nev never been in an okay. accident. Well, I have. Yeah. Yeah. I've had them done to me, and I've been the, but the I, I mean, of them. Uh, so I, I've done this multiple times, and never do I... Does anyone want to call the cops in mm -hmm. this purpose? Yeah. Unless they're there to see it happen, you don't do that. You just exchange the information and head on your way. And then the insurance companies communicate and figure it out. That's how it works. Very simple. Yeah, but... What damage would it be? You saying I internal mad and damage? Is that what you're saying? Quite possibly. I don't know. <laughs> how would it? How would it be? I'm not a. I'm okay. not an automobile professional. I don't. Oh. I don't do that. All right. Let's just get a police report, sir. Why? Why would? Okay. I, I'm just comfortable with it that way. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Thanks sorry. For sorry this, about that. It's harder. Let's just just yeah, get yeah. a police no, no, report. No. Well, I would just like your insurance. No, uh, so if you're uh, going to deny that, I will get the police involved. Yeah, uh, uh, what I'm just saying, let's just do it the right way that I'm comfortable with. I'm not denying you insur my insurance. I'm just saying let's call the police and I'll give it to the police. After watching the whole clip, do you think the female driver was right for refusing to provide an insurance to the male driver because she was afraid he was probably going to screw her over? And why was he kind of reluctant to call the cops? Let me know in the comment section. You won't believe this. This Karen acknowledges that she is stupid on camera take a look at this and i'm this. taking pictures of it and you are trash you are f garbage are you on drugs no i don't have to be on drugs i'm smarter than you on your best day you piece of the way you are treating your children and your Animals makes me want to vomit. Yeah, I got this. You are sick. And who are you? I'm from California. You Thank should you. go back. Yeah, I should go back. That's right. After I take all you pieces of crap down, bye. Are you smoking meth? Dog shit. Are you smoking meth? I don't have to smoke anything to be stupid. I, I know. know. I know. Karen, Karen, Karen. Karen said, I don't have to smoke anything to be stupid. That was hilarious. In this next clip, you are going to be watching a guy freaking out at a restaurant because he caught his father on a date 
with a younger woman. Take a look at this. Run around on my balls like that? No. No, I'm gonna cause a huge I'm gonna take a year. You need to leave. You need to get No, my dad's running around on my mom and I'm about to clean his block. I'm not running around. We sat down here and Oh, bullf. We're going to the bars together. Yeah, I'll take it outside right now. I'm serious. And you too. I'll take both y'all. Paula, 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 please leave their family alone already. Amen. My children better have my back like this if the time ever comes. Yikes. Not another drama at a fast food restaurant. But this time though, the customer is upset that the employee told him, go sit down. Take a look. I'll wait 12 minutes. Uh huh. You said go sit down. Uh, ma'am, did you tell me go sit down? Yeah, you told me go sit down. You don't talk to the customer like that. Go sit down. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? Como te llamas? Te llamas. Your name. So you don't want to give your name? Okay. No, I want my food. No, I want my food. Bye. Bye. That's how you do customers, ma'am? Oh, that, that's how you know I want my food. Oh, call the police. They, they, you're going to be in trouble. She's going to be in trouble. For what? You're going to be in trouble. Because I'm recording everything. And I gave you twenty dollars. That's okay. I'm gonna call Popeyes. I'll make sure I call Popeyes. Now that employee was on point. She did what was right, in my opinion. She did not even engage for too long with that customer. She was like, "You're trying to be difficult. Here's your money. Bye." This Karen was talking a woman and her daughter, but when she was caught by them, she claims they are stalking her. Take a look at this shenanigan. So this lady was following us and she's staying there. Yeah. You see her right there? Yes? You wanna be a asshole, right? What are you talking about? She's gonna be following me. Do you understand? I'm You're following, following us! You. So, I, you You're following literally us. right behind us. You're I following know, us. I know who you are. What? I don't even know who you are. Yeah, yeah I know who you are. Okay? I don't even know who you are. Oh, okay. If you know who I am, tell me. Tell me. Who am I? I don't want you to be following me anymore. Yes, okay. Don't be behind me, but I'm following you. Sure. 
I have no clue who you are. Good. Nor do I care. Well, good. Okay, goodbye. Then I won't have any problem seeing you. No. Never. No, stay in your place. Yes. Stay in your lane. Who the heck is she? You know what? This is going on Twitter. I'm done. This is going on Twitter. <laughs> she was literally right behind us. How are we following her if we're parked here and she's right behind us? Exactly. Send that to your job. <laughs> this Karen is crazy. She's like, I know who you are. Wow. That's creepy. Not another Karen in the neighborhood trying to disrupt these guys from doing their job. Take a look at this. This is harassment. Like what you're doing is harassment. I don't know who you are. Stop. Do okay, I need the call? Like, literally, like you're gonna, you're gonna give me the phone to turn the video off. This is harassment. This is harassment. Yeah, call like what you're I'll doing is straight up harassment. I call. I'll it's call not funny. Him. What's the location? It is Monroe. It's not funny. Monroe. 1322 Monroe. Yep. Karen, get a life. And leave those guys that are just trying to do their jobs in peace. Unbelievable. Finally, on this episode of Ultimate Public Entertainment and Karen Shenanigans. Karen gotta be down. Take a look at this. Take care of us so I can get going and this guy says, no, it's not respectful. You're not being respectful. You're not being respectful. Yes, and it's wrong. This isn't toasted. Again, for the third time, it's wrong. And this didn't have anything on top of it. Two things went wrong. You shouldn't just came over here and made rice. Don't tell me not to come back. I spent a lot of money there. Yes, it was. Just make it right. I don't have people in the drive through And I'm standing here. Yes, I understand. I understand. You must have ordered the most. You ordered everything on the menu. We only have one way to love it. We did not. Did you really just say we ordered everything on the menu? My I'm going to make sure your boss knows. This is how you talk to me. You yell at me. You tell me you have other orders. You messed up the order three times. I'm not the one making it's the order. It's reasonable for I'm me to get upset. I'm not the one making the order. I understand you're upset, and I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm not the one making your order. I'm here to help you. I understand that. But you need to understand when you mess up the order three times, Somebody's gonna feel like, and this is still not. Thank you. I'm holding the line. Yeah, I'm like getting through. Thank you. I appreciate it, but not not right now. I'm sorry. But you're right. I do apologize for that. I'm sorry. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section, Karen. You got what you deserve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all.